Hello everyone, this is Bob. Uh, today I'm going to do a demonstration on using LightScribe. Um, I'm going to assume that you already have a LightScribe DVD burner, DVD or CD burner. Um, one of the things you're going to need is the software. To find the software, you go to LightScribe.com. Um, it's very informative and has loads of extras and do uh, downloads and templates that you can uh, go through. I pick out my operating system as Windows, but they also have a Mac and Linux version. Go to our Windows, and you download the LightScribe template labeler. And this gives you information on the download here. That's kind of what it looks like. Uh, LightScribe is I should go over that just quickly. Is it, it laser etches a label on your on your disk? Um, it's a lot neater than using a sharpie or whatever else you would use a marker or a sharpie or something of that type to mark it up. It looks a lot more professional. It's neat. Um, and I will go close out of here. Oh, and now I will open my LightScribe template labeler. Click OK. When you when you doing your label, you put the CD upside down, the label side down. You can uh, burn your you can put your data, pictures, or music, or or whatever you want on your CD before or after you do your CD. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Um, I usually do it together uh, concurrently when I'm doing one, but that's up to you. Um, here it shows you can go through the different templates that they have. Many of these are extras that I downloaded. Uh, they may not come with the basic software. Uh, they, these are all found on the LightScribe website. So. You, you get a pretty good selection. Uh, we'll just pick one for demonstration. To add a photo, you click on here where it says click to add image. Got a no brainer. Uh, you click open, and you go through and you pick your images. I'll pick this one. And we'll pick another one here. There and you can add text there. <coughs> you can change your fonts here, and you can also change the alignments. Also, with the photos, I should show you this that you can zoom them in and out. So you gotta put one in there, make it fit, or you can zoom in or zoom out. And that's about it. Uh, when you're ready, you click print and preview, or preview print. And you come up with this window here. This one here will give you uh, a, a preview of what your disk will look like. Uh, there, there are different color disks. There's, there's gold, there's red, blue, uh, yellow, orange, uh, green. Um, maybe there's a few more that I don't know about. Um, uh, to give you an estimate of the time, uh, it says about 30 minutes. I, I've actually found it takes about between 15 to 20 minutes. Um, it's not that long. Um, over here, it'll give you, if you have multiple drives, You'd have to choose your drive that you are printing the label on. Uh, here it gives you some options how many copies you want to make uh, and contrast level and such. This is the LightScribe logo that will be on your DVD burner or such. If it doesn't have this, you can't do this. Um, 
kind of like the CD or DVD uh, label on every CD or DVD that there is. If you, if you don't have this uh, logo right here, you, you can't do it. Um, and that's about it. When you're, when you're happy with your selection here, you click print and it will give you a preview here. Like I said, it's, that's actually probably a high estimate. I, it probably depends on your hardware or how fast your computer is. And it, it will pop out on its own when it's done. And that is, that is it. Uh, I hope you found this somewhat informative and uh, I enjoy this. It's a lot neater and professional and um, it's pretty cool. And I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for coming by. Uh, you can visit my uh, blog at pcrestoration.blogspot.com. It's called Bob's PC Restoration. Uh, thank you again for coming by and have a good day.